Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Shimmer Box for February to share with you today. If you don't know what Shimmer Box is, it is a uh, monthly nail polish box. You don't subscribe to it. It's just something that you have to buy every month if you're interested. It does come with four indie brand polishes. The three that are always consistent are Native War Paints, Tux Polish and Colors by Laro, and then every month they do have a fourth guest maker and this month's maker is my indie polish this box will be available february 9th um and per the usual there are 25 ready to go and then after those 25 sell out it will be on a one week pre-order status um and then if you don't get it within that week it is gone forever so in the description box below i will link all of the maker sites as well as their instagram pages you can't buy these individually it's only in the box um, but it is a good representation of the brand itself if you're interested i will also link my instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything in this month's box and let's go ahead and get started so up first we have the native war pants shade and this is called this beauty loves chocolate this is described as a pale holographic pinky mauve with gold shimmer here's our first coat of this beauty loves chocolate and this is actually pretty sheer here on this first coat it does build up to opacity in two coats um, and I assume it's because it's so close to my skin color like the color of my nail bed so depending on your application, your nails, your style, you may want three coats of this, but it is completely opaque in two coats for me. If you do build it up with a third coat, you're going to get more of that like glow from within kind of style because this shimmer in here is so bright and bold. This does dry um, pretty glossy on its own, though I would recommend a nice top coat. It'll help bring out the hollow as well. So there's two coats. Up next we have the Tux Polish shade and this is called White Chocolate Truffle. This is described as a white curly base with red shimmer and various sizes of larger pink hollow glitter. Here's our first coat of White Chocolate Truffle. Now Tux does have these really really long brushes. Um, I say it every time you may end up getting some polish that runs down the stem of the brush. So you may end up applying a little bit more polish than you intended to, but this has a great formula. It's not too thick, not too thin, no running or pulling or anything like that. This does cover completely in two coats for me. Where I was getting with that stem thing is it might cover only completely in two coats because of the long stem and I was getting constant polish distribution, um, but depending on your application, you may want three. This does dry a little bit textured, so you will want a nice glossy top coat, and it's also gonna be a tiny bit difficult to remove because of the micro glitter. So there's two coats. <laughs> Up next, we have the Colors by La Roche shade, and this is called Raspberry Truffle. This is described as a cherry red curly base with silver glass flick shimmer. Here's our first coat of Raspberry Truffle. This has a great formula. I fully expect fantastic formulas from Colors by La Roche every single month. Nothing hard to use. Everything is nice and beginner friendly. This also covers really evenly on this first coat. I can still make out just a tinsy bit of my nail line and very strongly that calcium deposit in my ring finger that just isn't growing out. So I am going to go for a second coat. So here is our second coat and this builds up to complete opacity in just two coats. Again, it dries down a little bit dull, not not dull per se, but like just a little bit, you need something on top. So I would highly recommend that glossy top coat. I also had no staining, running, pulling, anything like that here. So there's two coats. And lastly for today, we have our guest maker, which is my indie polish, and this is called OK, I'll Eat the Fruit. This is described as a brown slash purple base with a ton of blue shimmer and sparkle. And here's our first coat of OK I'll Eat the Fruit. Again this is a little bit sheer here on this first coat but it does go on really smooth and evenly and it does build up to opacity in just two coats. You do get a ton of shimmer out um, that stands out against the brown base anyway. A nice formula, no running, pulling, anything like that. Um, that wasn't me anyway. I did get a little bit of my ring finger there. Depending on your application on this one, um, you may end up needing three coats. I feel like I was seeing bald spots after I took my swatch photos, so I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but you will want a nice glossy top coat here as well. So there's two coats. White Chocolate Truffle from Tux is my Valentine's Day polish this year. Like, this is stunning. I love this so much, I can't even explain. Um, so this is my favorite this month, obviously, and it's just beautiful. <laughs> I love I love curly polishes, and I love pink, and I'm pretty sure I've said that once today already because I am mass recording, so 
I, I love this. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this box. Let me know if you plan on picking it up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.